The job's certainly the focus in Washington, job's the talk in Texas, because the state is getting the job done and finding the jobs fast. And now even California wants to know how exactly they're doing that. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom in Texas today, meeting with Governor Rick Perry. I'd like to be a fly on the wall just for that. Anyway, he wants uh, the answer to how the Lone Star State keeps its jobless rate well below 10 percent, while California's keeps soaring. Governor Perry joining me now exclusively. Uh, Governor, what did you tell him? Neil, it was a good conversation. He and a uh, rather substantial number of assemblymen from California came in, sat down, and uh, we had a very candid and open conversation. It's really important for California to succeed in this country. We, yeah, well, what we did want you them tell to, him? What did you uh, tell him? Well, it, a, a rather simplistic approach, and, and it's what's worked in Texas. You keep the taxes low. You have a regulatory climate that's fair and predictable. You have a legal system that doesn't allow for oversuing, and you have accountable public schools, so you got a skilled workforce. And then get out of the way, government, and let the private sector do what the private sector does best, which is create jobs, which in turn create wealth. That's it. If you'll do that, California will get back on track quickly. All right. The lieutenant governor has a governor he's, he's working with and for, Jerry Brown, who wants to put people uh, sort of a serious referendum on raising taxes. Uh, he's being blocked right now from even making the proposal uh, by Republicans. Should that be out there, whether ultimately rejected or not? Let the people decide if the state's in such deep doo-doo that that's the only way to go. Well, I think the legislators need to do their job first, which is to vet all of those programs and make the reductions. That's what we're doing in the state of Texas. Every state has its challenges right now. Uh, California, obviously, greater challenges than most. But uh, at the end of the day, it's the legislators' responsibility to uh, to cut the budget. Uh, and, and, and I think it's a bit uh, dodging your responsibility. Uh, I got to look at the legislators and say, hey, listen, uh, you go you go do your job. Uh, if you need the people at the end of the day to make that decision, I, I, I suppose that's uh, all right as well. But uh, go make the hard decisions. And uh, uh, if you do that, maybe the people of the state of California aren't required to uh, be asked if it's OK to raise taxes. Um, your name gets mentioned a lot in that presidential uh I guess cluster uh, for for 2012. You've you've sort of stepped <laughs> back from even the, the, the well. I, I didn't finish it, which I'm glad. I didn't. <laughs> um, but but uh, I'm wondering. Um, you would make a compelling case. Uh, one of the nation's longest serving governors. You 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 have quite an economic track record. Are you interested? No, and I've said that many times. That uh, no, well, all uh, you guys say no. You always say no. You know, but but then then someone right, says yes. But I'm consistent in my saying no, and I do it. Uh, because I don't have passion to go to Washington, D.C. I'm a big believer that the, uh, uh, the Constitution and the Tenth Amendment need to be adhered to closely. I want someone to go to Washington uh, and stand up and proudly proclaim that they will try to make Washington as inconsequential in our lives as so they can. So who would that be? Uh, that's a, who would that be? Who do you like out there? It, it's a big and a wide and a broad field, and, and uh, let, the, let the games begin, but more importantly, let the serious conversation begin about how we're going to get this country back on so track. So you're not worried about the bickering uh, in your party, Governor, and some of the Tea Parties are conservatives saying the established Republicans, the so-called rhinos, aren't doing enough? I, I don't worry about uh, the back and forth of politics. I think we're a, 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 a very capable country to sort through uh, all of the dings and uh, things that will go okay. on during a campaign. At the end of the day, uh, it's going to be people with vision that lay out their vision, talk about what's important for the future of America, how we're going to get our country back economically on track. Gotcha. That's where uh, this country will focus. Governor, always good. Thank you, sir. Governor Rick Perry. Yeah, it's good to see you, brother.